the paper we are releasing um, is about biodiversity. Biodiversity is um, all the different species that exist in our planet. Um, it's all the different trees that you see when you go for a walk in the park, to all the different birds that you see if you, if you look in the sky. But biodiversity is not only just about different species. It is also about the genetic differences that you can find within any particular species. So our study focuses on this particular aspect of biodiversity, which is the genetic diversity of our planet. We find out that genetic diversity is higher in the tropics and that uh, it decreases when we move away from the tropics to, towards uh, the polar regions. We knew already that diversity was higher in the tropics in terms of the number of species that they harbor. But what we show in this study is that the tropics not only have the highest number of species, but the species and populations that exist there are also uh, genetically more diverse too. Another important result from our study is that we find that genetic diversity is lower in um, regions that have been more affected by humans. And this is particularly evident for amphibians. And why um, should we care about the genetic diversity? We should care because genetic diversity, um, without genetic diversity, species cannot evolve. Um, also, it is genetic diversity that gives the capacity of species, the ability of populations and species to adapt to environmental change. So the implications of our study are manifold. It puts us in a much stronger position um, to understand why biodiversity is so unevenly distributed across the world. There are so many questions that we couldn't answer before about why and how biodiversity is where it is that we can now start to address in new ways by um, adding the genetic diversity component to it. And finally, our study um, can serve as a baseline to monitor future changes in biodiversity, which is an important task ahead of us in the years to come.